hello people <laughs> long time no see um i'm not gonna mm, i don't really know how to start this because i've been gone for so long um but i'm not gonna get crazy into it because i think i'm gonna do like a chatty get ready with, get get ready with me type of thing um to kind of catch you guys up on everything but i'm gonna start vlogging again i'm very excited also don't mind <laughs> i hate my hands um, but basically, I'm really excited to start vlogging again. I really want to get back into it. It's been way, 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 way too long. So we're just going to start the vlog here. So if you're a little bit confused, sorry. Um, but I promise I will explain where I've been and all that kind of stuff, why I took such a long break very soon. Um, but I just don't want to like make two videos about it. So we're just going to start with the fun stuff here. So, um, I just got back. It is currently the 21st, I think, of December. I just got home. I've been away for two weeks. Um, I just drove from New York last night. It ended up being a 12-hour drive. It was so much fun. It was, it was terrible. I'm not gonna lie. It was horrible. Um, I got stuck in so much traffic. But anyways, I made it home last night. I haven't even unpacked. I haven't done anything. I just slept in this morning because I was so exhausted and the dogs were tired. So um, I just woke up, showered, um, and I have a lot to do today. I want to show you guys my Christmas decorations. Even though Christmas is like in two days, whatever. Sorry, I'm late this year. Life happens, you know. It is what it is, but I wanna show you guys still because I really love the way everything turned out. I think it's super, super cute. Um, and maybe it'll give you some inspo for next year. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I just have a few packages to unbox. I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. And then I think I'm gonna plop on the couch and watch some Disney Plus because I just, it's so disgusting outside. It's warmer here. It's like in the 40s, whereas I left, it was like 19 degrees yesterday. So it's definitely a little bit nicer here, but it's so cloudy and it's about to start raining and I'm just not in the mood to do anything. House is clean, everything's good to go there. So I think I'm just going to chill, film some videos today. Really excited to get back into the swing of things. I just have so much to clean up and like I hate unpacking after a long trip. Like does anybody else procrastinate? Like this is literally all the stuff i had the energy to bring into the house yesterday, minus my makeup chair obviously but literally like two bags a purse a basket and then the dog food so i could feed the dogs but i didn't even bring in any of my suitcases i have two suitcases all my coats a whole bunch of extra stuff so i didn't even bring any of that in so i just went to go get our mail and we literally have so much mail it's ridiculous i've only been gone for like two weeks and it's piled up so much um so i did get a pair of shoes and these are leftover from black friday but i just got them um i got another pair of adidas shoes um these are actually men's i don't know what these are called um the young ones i love ugly chunky dad sneakers but yeah these are actually a men's but they're really cute love them they're like a neon coral and like taupe I think they're cute. So I got those. Um, and then I did get my boxy charm and I actually get the boxy lux. So I thought that I would just open this for you guys and show you what I got, even though I know I'm really behind on this. It's fine. I feel like, oh my gosh, every time I leave, I'm like a mess. I just can't get my life together. So this is whimsy themed right whimsy so that's what it looks like um okay so what did i get what is this is this a towel daily hair wrap towel so i already have one of these but i love them it's like an anti-frizz towel i have a different brand from sephora um i think it was pretty freaking expensive let me see how much this is though this is 18 dollars normally it's the daily concepts towel reduce frizz and maintain healthier hair I can always use another one of these because I try to wash mine frequently. Um, okay, what's next? Cosmetics. Oh, this is a face roller. Holy shit. MSRP is $69. Well, oh, I'm going to be so excited if this is what I think it is. I didn't peek at these. Like I said, I've been so far off social media and just like life. I haven't paid attention to anything. So I didn't do any of the previews or any of the peaks or anything. So this is all a nice surprise for me why well, i can't see this is why i hate not having nails like i can't get into anything what does this do 
The Hexagon Shape Cosmetics Facial Roller is an innovative beauty tool used to improve the vis visibility of fine lines, enhance skin texture, and uplift fatigued skin. That's fun. Oh, Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacial Water Cream. Yes, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to try something from Saturday Skin. Look how freaking cute their packaging is. Like, is that not the cutest? So, sorry if you can hear the dogs barking. I assume this is just like a daily moisturizer. Ooh, that smells. It actually doesn't smell like anything, but it's like a thick, like clear consistency. Super excited to try this. I'm actually out of my um, Drunk Elephant face cream, so this is going to be awesome. Ooh, I got a Kat Von D Dagger tattoo liner in Trooper Black. Love this liquid liner. It's so good. I have one of these already, but I'm definitely gonna keep it Oh, this is a different one. That one, that felt tip is like angled. Can you see that? Um, I'm definitely gonna keep this. I don't like using Kat Von D products because I don't like Kat Von T, but she does make some good stuff, so. All right, next we have the Ciate Marbled Light Illuminating Blusher. Love that. This reminds me of like the Hourglass blushes. Super into that. All right, then we got a Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I'm obsessed with this cleanser. It's really, really good for sensitive skin. I like it, it doesn't dry me out. It has amino acids. It's really, really good. So I'm gonna keep this as a backup. I love that. Hey you guys, so it is currently 6.44. These dogs are barking. Um, it is currently a few hours later. Um, so I'm in the middle of making some dinner right now and I'm actually doing some of these Trader Joe's the cauliflower Nookie, I think um, It's let me see It's these things Super super good love them. So I'm just gonna do a bag of those and throw some sauce over it Nothing too fancy here, and I'm actually having a glass of wine. I'm excited. I just opened a bottle of rosé. My mom would literally kick my butt right now knowing that I put ice in it, but I just couldn't get it to cool fast enough. It was taking way too long. Ah, yum. Um, so I wanted to update you guys. I actually did end up going to get my nails done today. They were just driving me so crazy. They looked so disgusting, and I still need to film a makeup video, and I was like... I cannot sit in front of the camera with these janky fingernails. Like, it's just so ugly. I hate it. So, I ended up getting, like, this almond shape. Um, if you can see there. They did decent. Um, it's not quite what I wanted. They're a little bit, like, too almondy, I guess. And the color is actually a little bit more pink in person. Um, so, yeah. I mean, they're cute. I like them. Um, so, I got my acrylics back. I'm really excited about that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to finish making myself some dinner. I don't know what sauce I'm going to put on this yet. Um, but I basically just have them sauteing in the pan here. You're supposed to like steam them in water and then saute them in olive oil. Anyways, you guys don't care. Um, so yeah, I thought that I would just check in with you guys. I'm a terrible vlogger, as we all know. Uh, so I'm trying to be a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna eat some dinner. I'm watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians, just kinda hanging out and stuff. And then I'm gonna film my main channel video. I finished picking up all my gift cards and Christmas presents today. So I need to get those in the mail and everything, even though tomorrow's Sunday, so I can't do that. Um, but yeah, just kinda doing stuff at home. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey you guys, so it is actually the next day and I look super crazy because I was filming a video and taking some photos and stuff. So I'm like super glam right now. Long awaited, I'm going to finally show you guys my Christmas decorations. <laughs> I feel like I've dragged this vlog on long enough without showing you even though I told you I was gonna show you like 10 times. So here we go, I'm gonna show you guys my Christmas decorations. I want a lot for Christmas.
kind of just what I have on like our little bistro table in the kitchen. Um, this candle stays there year round. Um, and then I have this little cement Santa and then I got this little tree, I think. I don't know where this came from, not gonna lie. Um, but I got that little um, flocked tree from Target. So that's just kind of like on our table. I think it looks really cute. I have a ton of these little cement things that are actually so heavy. And these are called Isabel Blooms. And I get these in Iowa where Nick is from. They have like a little studio and factory there that they make these cement figurines. So you will see these all over my house. I have Christmas ornaments. I'm obsessed with these. So these, you can buy them online. I can try and link them below, but I think I got this guy last year. I don't know if they still have them, but they're very heavy. They're really nice quality. I think they're so cute. So I will show you more of those in case you're wondering where my stone stuff is from. All right, you guys, so this, is our tree it's very anticlimactic i'm not gonna lie i have this brown suede like tree skirt i thought it kind of went with the decor and then this is just our tree here's more of those isabel blooms i was telling you guys about the stoneware um this is so cute nick's mom just gave me this one i love it um but yeah so i have kind of a mix of there's another isabel bloom a little dog house my mom made this how freaking cute right but so I have a mix of kind of like styled ornaments like you can see there some like more glam stuff mixed in with like our personal ornaments. We have a bunch of West Point stuff and a lot of army stuff some cute little angels. So everything means something, but it still is kind of cohesive. And then I have this little ho-ho thing. And then my favorite part of our tree, if you guys don't know, we are a blended family. I am Jewish. So we have a cute little Star of David on top. I always put that on top of the tree instead of like an angel or anything. And then we just have a cute bow. And you guys, I actually really struggled this year because I only get real trees, but this one was on sale for like 45 bucks at Target. I think this guy is a little over five feet. Um, it was like 45 bucks from Target. And since I'm alone this year, I figured I don't have a big strong man to cut down my tree. We're going with a fake one this year. And then in this little corner, I just have a nice little Merry Christmas sign. I really like wood and like neutral stuff. I'm not so much into like the red and green Christmassy. This candle thing is always there. And then another little tree. This is from last year, but it's literally the exact same as the ones from Target this year. Just a flocked little tree. And this kind of sits between our living room and the kitchen. And I thought I would show you guys this thing really quickly. Um, it's just, this actually stays out all year, but it's definitely more Christmassy I think um, it's kind of this like antler thing that you can set candles on I think it's really pretty so I just kind of keep this on our like bar table here in the center sorry it's kind of a mess I have like keys and like my laptop and stuff in there um, but yeah that kind of just stays like on the table behind the couch I think it's really pretty we like kind of more rustic stuff definitely Alrighty, and so here is a good look of our living room situation for Christmas. Don't mind, I'm watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Um, so again, we like very rustic and very neutral. So a lot of these pillows I got from Kirkland's. I think that's Kirkland's. I think this one is Kirkland's. No, this one, this one is Target, but that's Kirkland's. This Noel pillow is Kirkland's. Those are from TJ Maxx last year. TJ Maxx last year, Kirkland's, Kirkland's, and then this faux fur throw is from TJ Maxx as well. And then back there, we just have our blanket ladder with all our cozy blankets. My mom actually made that. Um, so yeah, you can see that we just like very cozy, comfortable, and then I actually have the tree in the background there. So that's what that looks like. And then on our big ottoman, uh, <laughs> Sorry, there's a dog bone. On our big ottoman, I just have a, another one of these flock trees. And then I have this little silver reindeer and we just kind of keep our coasters and stuff there. Then over here, I have a, another reindeer. This guy's actually pretty big. I think I got him from TJ Maxx last year too. My very dead succulent, um, but I think that just looks really cute there. Very cozy. Here, I like to keep a candle here all year round, um, but I think it goes really, really cute with this tree, which I got 
from TJ Maxx. Marshalls, I want to say, I get a ton of Christmas decor from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Those are like my go-to places. I have a really cute sign here that says, Just Believe. And we actually keep all of our books back there, but I just put it right there. Looks really cute with like the deer skull and everything. Again, really rustic and neutral. How many times can I say that? And then I have this little gnome here. And I love this one because it looks like an Isabel Bloom, but I think I got it from TJ Maxx or something like that a while ago. Um, but it kind of just goes with the neutral kind of stoneware. I love it. I think it's so freaking cute. And then when you come into our dining room, I kind of just have this little Christmas countdown guy here. I have this really pretty candle holder. Do not mind all that. That's like Christmas gift stuff. This room has looked better, but it is what it is. We still do have to live here. Um, so this has like a little tree and the mercury glass, which I love. And then this is definitely my favorite part of all the Christmas decor. I have so much stuff on this table, but I really love like a huge tablescape. So I've kind of just collected a whole bunch of different Christmas trees over the years. And I got these little antlers from like Hobby Lobby. These are from Hobby Lobby, I think. And then all the different greenery, which I normally keep on the table, is just mixed in with some of these like glitter branches. I have some little gold bells. I have some pine cones. I just really love the way this looks. I love a really full tablescape. So there you can kind of get a few different views of it. I think it's so beautiful. And yeah, I just love stuff that's not like super, super matchy, but still kind of goes together. And I think this goes really well with kind of like the farmhouse vibe we have. I'm just so obsessed with it all, with the bench and everything. So you guys can kind of just see some of the up close detail. I basically just layered everything and kind of like twisted everything in there. It's kind of a mess, I'm not gonna lie, but I like that look where it's kind of like undone and very like messy. A little boho, a little rustic farmhouse, you know, that's kind of our vibe here.